was on flames. It was just like the whole world was on fire. It almost looked like we were all calling each other. I was calling old friends that I haven't really talked to in maybe five years, but I haven't seen in 10. Man, do you see the big mill? You know, it's, it's, it's on fire. It's burning up. The whole building was on fire. Like, it was something from an action movie when they blow up a building, and it was just it was awesome. It was, that's all I can say. I mean, I thought it was cool. It was probably devastating, but everybody was out there because it was a spectacle. I just kind of gasped. <laughs> and then I got real quick, I, I got online and saw the local news for Columbus, Georgia, and just kept looking at the footage, and uh, it was surreal. It burned all night. It, it was on fire until the next morning, and then it smoked for like two days after. We've heard two stories. We've heard that the homeless was in there, and it was cold, and they started to fire. There's a conspiracy theory, too, because all the mills burned down here, they like the owners of the mill get an insurance policy and then all of a sudden they burn down and these mills are worth millions of dollars. It was sad. Nobody wants to see that part of history or a part of your life going up in flames. A lot of family members worked at the mill. Uh, in fact, there were several mills in the Columbus area and so a lot of the families worked there. Like my granny and my granddaddy, that's where they met. Like they were both working at the mill and my granny like had a crush on my granddaddy and like asked him out. And then that's, that's how they started. Like they started an entire branch of our family tree because they met at the mill. I had just heard how hard and laborious the, the work was my whole life. And I knew that I did not want to go and work in that environment. Cotton mill people were good people. They were hardworking people, they were honest people. The camaraderie that, that we had in, in the cotton mill, I mean, it was just, um, everybody helped everybody. The Bibb Cotton Mill employed thousands of people. So when that main source of employment shut down and left the area, all of those thousands of people were without employment. And it started, it was like a, a domino effect, like one mill shut down. Well, then everybody was scrambling to go to another mill to go to work. And then that mill shut down. And then everybody was scrambling to go to work at another, another mill. So I, I think with it burning down, there was a loss of hope. Columbus is kind of stuck. We don't have a lot of employment. And I don't know, we're kind of a poor city. But if something would to come in, it would boost the economy. started um, blowing up some dams to make white water rafting in Columbus is going to go right down Chattahoochee along all downtown along right along Bibb City. I hope that making the water rapids in the Columbus area will help. Uh, I know that they've been working tirelessly on doing that to try to bring some some visitors in the area. Also, I've heard that they're going to start a, ra uh, a railroad coming from Atlanta down here to do the ship, you know, for people to ride the, the train and come down to do the whitewater rafting. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get in that water, but uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs>